Hi, I'm Bob Atkins, Dean of Admission here at Washington and Jefferson College. I'm also a 1987 graduate of WJ, and more importantly, I'm the proud parent of a 2018 WJ graduate. I am thrilled and excited to welcome you here today for President's Preview. I'm also very excited to walk you through your next steps on your journey to become a WJ president. And welcome to Next Steps for Accepted Students here at Washington and Jefferson College. Congratulations, you've been accepted to WJ. You may wonder what happens now? What's next? Well, let's talk about what your next steps are. We're gonna talk about three things in this presentation, financial aid, submitting your deposit, and gateway. What is gateway, you may wonder? Don't worry, we're gonna talk about that in just a second. Financial aid, I hope that you have submitted your FFSA, your free application for federal student aid. If you've not done that, that you wanna do it as soon as possible so that we can turn around and get you an aid offer as quickly as we possibly can. When you get your aid offer, you're gonna get two things. First, you're gonna get your actual aid offer. We'll list on your aid offer all the things that you qualify for financially. So on there will be listed your scholarships, grants, work study, and any loans that you might qualify for. That'll all be listed on your aid offer. In addition, we're gonna send you what we call the bottom line, which is just a document that allows you to sum up everything that we've given you in one swoop. It also allows you to add those same items from up to two other institutions because we want you to know what you're paying out of your pocket. In other words, what is the bottom line for each school that you're interested in? Second, you should know with our financial aid offers that we practice what's called passive acceptance, which means that unless you want to decline some part of your aid package, you don't need to do anything. We assume once, you send, once we send you an aid offer that you're going to accept everything on there unless you tell us otherwise. So you need to do absolutely nothing to accept those awards. Secondly, we're gonna encourage you to finalize all of your documents, your financial aid documents over the summer before you arrive at the WJ. That way you can arrive here safely and securely knowing that you are ready to start your education without any kind of obstacles. Submit your enroll enrollment deposit. That really what it does is confirm your place in the class of 2024. It makes sure that we have a place for you to stay and make sure you, we have a place for you to learn and to make sure that we know that you're coming to join us and become a president in the fall of 2020, which we're very excited about. It also allows you to move forward with your enrollment process and Gateway. Gateway is our online orientation program, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in just one second, but some of the things that Gateway will provide for you will be housing, course placement surveys, class registration, and medical forms. All the things that we need to collect from you as a student before you arrive here in the fall. Gateway will also provide you with your student email address. It also gives you access to your course placement surveys. There are two of those, math and foreign languages, which are due by May 31st. You wanna get that done so that the next piece, the course interest form can be completed as well. The course interest form really allows us to determine the class that you're gonna be taking in the fall when you arrive as a freshman. So it's very important to get all three, all two of those things in uh, as quickly as you possibly can. Gateway also provides for you the gateway form which includes a number of different surveys that you need to complete again before you arrive at WJ so that we can place you with the room, roommate, so that we know what meal plan you're on, so, so that we know how to contact you or your parents should something happen at, while you're at WJ or we need to inform them of something that's going on at WJ. We need your medical forms to know that you're arriving healthy and ready to learn. And finally, we need your student photo ID so that we can then create an ID for you. Your WJ ID will be, will be from that photo, so make sure it's a good one. Make sure you look good. Finally, once you've submitted the, uh, your uh, deposit to WJ, we want you to follow us on social media. That's the best way right now to get a handle on what's going on on our campus. Our president is on there fairly regularly, so he'll give you updates as well as other staff members. And it's the best way for you to get connected with current WJ students, faculty, and staff. So please follow us as quickly as you possibly can so that we can start communicating with you once you become a WJ president and are part of the family. Finally, if you have not yet submitted your deposit, today is the day to do that. So submit your deposit right now. Join the WJ family, become part of the WJ team. We wanna see you this fall. 